Hey, do you want to know how we successfully write and publish books that give us a consistent six and seven? The first thing you should know about reading comprehension is that the battle starts in your mind. I always see students look at a big chunk of text and I bet the first thought that's going on in their minds is, oh my God, I just don't care about frogs or about 17th century politicians. This is boring. People often don't enjoy reading comprehension and they just want to get it over with and get to the end of the passage as quickly as possible. But as someone fortunate enough to have gotten a perfect score in the verbal sections of both the GRE and the GMAT, I have three main methods to help you crush the reading comprehension section. But I warn you, my advice is different from what you might read elsewhere, especially the second and third methods might be a little bit controversial. But what can I say? They've worked for me, and so I'm just gonna let you know these methods and you can decide if they're gonna work for you. First things first, you're going to need to dismiss those negative thoughts immediately. At some point in those first five seconds when you see that big, reading comprehension passage, you're gonna get a signal from your brain that says something like, I don't need this information, this is boring, this has nothing to do with my life. And if you let that signal permeate your brain, your brain is not gonna really analyze the text or remember it or process it in any way. Instead, you need to intercept that signal and say to your brain, no, this might be interesting. I'm gonna learn something from this. I may be able to tell my friends or my family about something I learned here. This is a way of persuading your brain that the information it's reading is useful and not to delete it. And that's a big secret for memorizing the information. If your brain is not persuaded that the information is critical, it won't remember it. It will just delete it as you go along. And that's why so many students get to the end of a passage and they just say to me, I don't actually remember anything that I just read. Whereas that never happens to me. When I get to the end of a passage, I pretty much retain the tone, the argument, the conclusion of what I read. And how do I do it? Well, in those first five seconds, I intercepted the signal and I said, no, this piece about art, this piece about a 15th century politician, this piece about slavery, no, I'm gonna find it interesting. I'm gonna learn something here. I'm gonna tell people about what I've read. This 